Hello and welcome back to another episode of Banishers Ghost of New Eden. My name is Hyken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty. We have left off with um, the haunting case objective Saints and Sinners. Last time we did a little diversion into a treasure hunt which was cool but now we need to go back to work. And back to work is um, finding Saints and Sinners here. Which, if I had to take a wild guess, I would say, since we're looking for a cave, it might be that one. The veil here is as thin as in the cave where you found me. The same lonely feeling presses down. Endless haunting grounds down there. Not today, my friend. Something's written here. I believe it's from Mast. I'll wait for you, okay. Something's written here. I believe it's from Marcy. This on for size. Strange to find another haunting ground here. The right words of power may force the nearby specters to well, show themselves. It's time to do exactly that. Before we do, I find it strange that that is right here, although um, the veil is thin, they said, and he might not have gone to that part. Reveal Let's get going. your true self. Ready and waiting. Watch out. Spectre possession. Good, one gone. Stay down. Exactly what I was thinking. Stay down. Don't get on my nerves. <laughs> I'm still here. Have another in sight. The physical ones seem <gasps> to be susceptible to spectral damage and vice versa. This bite's not easily chewed. Going for a meat suit. <sighs> they never learn, do they? Oh. 
triple fight. That's not easy. Just die. Just when I was done channeling. Come on. The channel just deals a hundred and twenty. Why are they taking so little damage? Once more with feeling. Okay, that was a good hit. Kill the spectre with him? Yep. Pizza. Cool. That saves us quite a bit of time. Blasted pest! So I can with confidence say that the spectral damage is higher than the physical one. Physical one is almost non-existent. I'm right here. I can help. Away with you. How sturdy that Ask guy for is. help if you need it. <clears throat> oh, come on, you can do better, Psycho. You'll get it next time. Piss off. Ah, uh, no. 
not even that. Reinforcements. Okay. And I thought we we're done. Sometimes we're dealing almost no damage, and I have to wonder why that is. I mean, I do, I do know why we're dealing no damage against these two. Almost there. I don't know why we're not dealing any damage against that spectral thing. Is there an armor penetration mechanic that I'm not aware of? Or you need that, that amount of armor penetration to even deal a decent amount of damage? Because look at that, I mean, normally I'm hitting for 100 ish. Not gonna stay down! But these guys, I only hit for 12. They, on the other hand, hit quite hard. No, soft attacks is also not the answer. Vanishing to a degree is, but I mean, bitch, please. 100 damage for full, uh, full fetch vanishing. That's not great either. Ask for help if you need it. That destroyed the stupid spectre within. Didn't need to go through an entire spectre. Maybe we're getting the Wanderer next. I don't know.
Help me. Bolt. For a moment he was weak and I could get a strike in for 80. Can't be that easily hit. Oh well. Leave it to me. Call on me. Yeah, well. That was something. I don't understand why our weapons are not dealing more damage. That whole fight would have been so much easier if the weapons wouldn't have uh, hit like two spicks. Wards, think you can fend for yourself? It's strange. Very, very strange. And I don't really know why. Something has me. Wards. There's a shrine up there, which we definitely would want to get. Hey, shine's toughened up. See here we're hitting 490-ish, right? But just a moment ago, our gun hit for 20. Stay down. No idea. Here we could banish properly. Arise into thy resting place. We don't have the same definition of a resting place. I've brought stew. Tis your favorite. Bread and water, too. Oh, it smells so very good. Thank you. I'm sad to disappoint, but I am fasting. As did our Lord Jesus Christ himself. Truly, you and he walk the same path. I'm so very proud of you. Hugh Batch not let his sister starve herself. He's convinced that she was chosen by God. Does she believe it too? Let's look for Marcy. She can't have gone far. I don't know if these are comforting or terrifying. I go with creepy. All right, so let's explore a bit further. The 
house is old. It must predate the Bachelors. Early settlers? Natives? Isn't that everybody's favorite, the vines? Back in business. All right, let's go. I feel something close. Let's take a look at that. Of course, we don't have a map. Wards, you're on your own. Not if we find the location of the wards. Hmm, this looks almost like a way out. I think a way to pass could be near. There we go, finally. And we get ourselves a nice little shrine. power to us and let's put a rope down here so that we can take the shortcut the next time I think that was already it. Unfortunate. I was hoping for a little bit more. So this is where we would have landed if we had climbed down. This is pretty much the entrance. This was the nest, which took us so long to clear. All right, it's vine time, guys. Not much I can do about it. Might as well embrace it. There, corrupted weeds. Good. We know exactly what uh, needs to be done. As in, remove the corrupted weeds. But not so easy. Let's first remove a couple of bows, shall we? Try this on for size.
efficient than cannon powder. Will it for once be an easy route? One. Two. Where's the third one? One, two, One, two. I'm not finding the third one. See, there's a pattern with that. There might be people that enjoy this kind of gameplay. I voiced my opinion on the matter quite frankly. Give it another try from a different perspective. All this team up. More witch stones that we still don't exactly know what they're used for. See, even that level 20 plus enemy is taking proper damage. Help! Oh! I'm not sure why the others are not taking the same amount of damage. Yeah, it's almost that with some of uh, the nests, our damage is cut into into four. So. 25% of the damage that we should deal, we're dealing. There must be a better way to manage the resources than what I'm currently doing. Try this on for size. I am collecting resources like a madman.
Okay, let's see what's down there. Red, come. I found something. Finally, concrete clue. Let's go. Rusty knife. It's a blade stained with Marcy's blood. She might have taken a her bloody own knife name. in a dingy cave. Always a pleasure. Well, has something to tell us. Through a single point passes an infinity of paths. Oh Lord, please help me. I'm scared. I can't do this alone. Cut it down. Cut it deeply. Well do Take I know it. Take my hands. It's your Take my hands and mark them so your flock may see, so they will no longer doubt you. Do it, Marcy. Do it, my darling. Grant me the strength to do my duty. Your blood is the blood everlasting. I will speak your sainted words. They will listen and believe. Oh wow. She cut herself. Where did the whispers come from? Maybe she was under the influence of a malignant spirit. There's a trail of blood. Let's follow it. Well, she did not make it that far. Poor thing. How long has she been lying here, forgotten? And how has she gone unnoticed? Perhaps the path was already blocked. I can feel her presence. You have her tie. Summon her. Present yourself, I compel it. Our Father who art in heaven, I thank you for your blessing. Is she really aware that she did not help herself? Good day to you, Miss Bachelor. My child. You may call me Marcy, for I am the angel Marcy, sent to guide and protect. Are you an angel too? I see your man with you. Are you sent to guide and protect him, to be his light in the darkness? He should be so lucky. I'm Antea Duarte, and I'm no angel. This is Red McGraith. We're banishers. And what have you banishers done? How far have you fallen? You stand swaddled in your guilt, ferocious in your blackened hearts. Well, let's come back to that one, shall we? You see, God speaks to me. In visions, he reveals his light. What would you ask him? What would you ask the Lord? Ask, and I will answer. What happened to you, Marcy? What happened? I opened my heart and let in the light. And do you know, it had always been there. You starved yourself. You refused your brother's food. Is that what killed you? God gave me a duty. I should sacrifice my body, as did his son, that my people may have forgiveness. I must carry the light to unbelievers, so that with it in their hearts, they may be saved by the light of the Lord. You sacrificed your body 
for the salvation of others. I'm sorry. I don't know how that works. Our people are plagued by evil. Darkness grips them. I've noticed. In the turmoil of my dreams, I'd watch them writhe and burn in endless flaming turmoil. I knew not what it meant, but you kindly helped me understand. In revealing to me the horror lurking in the shadows, God was showing me the goodness waiting in the light. My suffering lights the way to salvation. We're gonna have to talk to Hugh about this, aren't we? All right. We must leave you. God goes with you, my... Wait. I feel something. Someone. My brother. I'm here. You. My brother. Mousy. I knew it. Let's get back to the entrance of the cave and have a word with him, shall we? Mr. McRae, can you see her now? Is she not magnificent? Is she not a blessing from the Lord High God himself? No, not really. What are you doing here? I'll justify neither my comings nor my going. You might have to, school teacher. Marcy had visions. She heard voices. Did you know this? Of course I knew. They scared her. God sent a trial to test me. But he also sent me a guide. My brother, sir. Did you not talk to Reverend Davenport? Or Haskell, maybe? Why would I do such a thing when the Bible is clear? In visions, God reveals himself to the chosen few. My sister is one of them. I'd known all my life that Marcy was special. Here was the Lord's own proof. You seem very sure of yourself, sir. But I suspect you've gotten things wrong. No. You do not understand. Now could you? But this is my destiny. My brother helped me to fulfill it. My sister was chosen by God. A banisher could not understand. A heretic could never understand. Let's get this over with. Oh, yeah. Hugh Bachelor, you're haunted by the ghost of your sister, Marcy. But you, sir, are a dangerous fanatic. A man that is a heretic after the first and second admonition reject. You've had your admonitions. I reject you. You drove your own sister to her death. Allow me to return the favor. I hold fast the Lord's name and deny not my faith. Even when Marcy his faithful martyr was slain where Satan dwells. I hold fast. I hold fast! All right, hold on to this, preacher boy. the gates. I hear no trumpets. I hear no trumpets. I trusted you. All right, Morrissey seems to be pissed.
With Hugh dead, Marcy can no longer feed on his essence. So why is she still here? Maybe she's more attached to him than we thought. It's time to send our angel back to heaven. the other you're done specters are coming from by the way i don't understand the leveling system these guys are level 20 much higher than the ones that we fought before yet look at the amount of damage that we're dealing to them Must I do everything? It's about to shoot. your face. This isn't over yet. All right, we got that. Ours is a little bit too strong. Away with you. To just Regent knock Vandal. down. hit points 103 and it barely moved her hit point bar Even in the void, Marcy still believed she was an angel, or a fallen one. Poor Marcy. She didn't deserve that. Mm. Neither her life of suffering, nor its end. She deserved a better brother. I'm not just sure. She's free now. She was a pure soul. I mean, they all are beneath the dark, but... How's Sean? Like a child. Good. I think. Are you all right? That is a decent uh, place for us to end today's episode. We did very well. We got ourselves uh, another spirit point. I think we're doing one more haunting over here, simply because I like the hauntings. And then that should be that. In terms of evolution, we got another essence, which is great. All of these essences unlock a couple of a couple of great uh, extra abilities. 
outburst area is good. Each hit uh, by a manifestation increases the damage of manifestations by 15%. That is not bad. Outburst isn't bad either. I think we're doing this here. AoE damage is also good. Spirit costs of manifestation reduced by 30%. Yeah, we're pairing restores 10% health is great. This isn't bad either, but I like health restoring options and we can um, yeah, we do have the decoction with the knockback. That isn't bad either. Here's parrying reduces 90% damage dealt. That is good. That plus healing really makes parrying a very, very attractive option. So we need one, two more. Maybe I do um, two hauntings. Uh, de facto, we could take a couple more actually. Uh, we don't need to level the entire leveling tree. Your sisters. Good. That's Ifa. it for me for today. Obviously. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you brother, in the next episode. I'd have liked him to have been.